good day. This is John Michael Valdez reporting one of the famous artists and their artwork, Benedicto Cabrera. First, who is Benedicto Cabrera? Benedicto Cabrera, better known as Ben Cab, is a figurative painter from the Philippines. He is recognized as a pioneer of Philippine art. Ben Cab's painting often depicts figures wrapped in flowing fabrics in muted tones and earthy color palettes. And now, let's watch this video how he started as an artist. Tell us something about how you started as an artist, how you became an artist. Uh, well, it's always been my... Uh, uh, <laughs> okay lang. My obsession to draw. Oh. Number one, I have, my brother used to... I have a brother who was a painter. And uh, he's much older than me, 13 years difference. I'm the youngest of nine. Mm. And I used to just watch him and, and uh, be fascinated with what he can do with a blank piece of paper and things come out, things like that. And uh, I just wanted to be an artist also. Um, buong time dito ba kayo sa Baguio or Manila? Uh, well, I was... I grew up in Manila okay. and uh, I left the Philippines in 1969 when I met my future wife and we traveled and stayed in London for 13 years. So I came here in 1986, right before the snap election yes. you know? <laughs> and the, so it was very good timing for me to be back in the Philippines and be involved in the, the scene. Yeah. And now, we are going to talk about one of his famous artwork called the Yellow Confetti. Yellow Confetti is a dynamic and powerfully resonant work which describes the civil resistance in the Philippines during the early to mid-1980s. This period became known as People Power or EDSA but was also called the Yellow Revolution due to the use of yellow flags and ribbons by the resistors. However, the politically charged impetus behind yellow confetti, coupled with the small existing body of EDSA works by the artists, elevates its significance as a rare masterpiece. The yellow confetti flutters animatedly across the entire pictorial surface, as if buoyed by the winds of resistance. It is revealing that the figures only occupy half of the pictorial plane. Whatever they are protesting against is not clearly represented and open to a viewer's specific interpretation. The symbol of the yellow confetti has been used more than once by Ben Cab. A work dated from the same year as Yellow Confetti, two Filipinas in the era of multinationals, depicts two girls clad in traditional clothing but array with gadgets of our modern time. The material used to make this painting are ink, and acrylic on paper. The artwork painted the year prior as the artist returned to Manila, seemingly anticipated the revolution and identifies Cabrera with the movement. On the painting, people who looked like the Rangist were on the right corner, while the yellow confetti which were thrown was seen floating on the left side. The painting may look simple, yet it hides many interesting facts that was mainly about the Philippine history. In addition to that, many elements of art were also evidently shown on this artwork by Cabrera. The element was the texture. Since yellow confetti was made using acrylic and ink, it can already be concluded that it has mostly a rough on the surface. Yellow confetti captures the humanistic face of a period cuff in a flux, articulating the passion, energy, and desire for economic stability and social justice as well as the underlying fabric and foundation of the contemporary Philippines. Ben Cab's approach to making and supporting Philippine art and the reason for his National Artist Award in 2006 is the unique fusion of tradition and modernity, never forgetting that the national conscience is embedded in what we see in ourselves, both past and present. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching everyone. Have a good day.